Really quick tip guys, uh, I just want to show you the power of creating and using snippets in Sublime Text. Um, you can create snippets in a lot of the different code editors, but I specifically use Sublime Text and I know it's a really popular one. So I just wanted to go over how to create a snippet because sometimes it can be a little confusing. I know it took me a minute and I had to like read like half an article to figure it out. But now I can do stuff like this, right? And I can do stuff like uh, this and just expand all of my different, I have a, a bunch in here and continue to add it. But uh, let me see actually. I forgot some so ACF right ACF while right so I, I get to uh, pick whatever tab keys that I want so let me just jump in so let's say I wanted to make a new snippet I would go to new snippet and then here's way where I would put my snippet so let's say I just wanted to make an, uh, a uh, paragraph with an a link in it and close the paragraph and I wanted that paragraph to have a class of for let's say for some reason like this was something I needed and I used it over and over and over again and I just it would just be so much easier if it was in a snippet now over here I can set a tab trigger so I'm just gonna copy the code for that here right and I'm gonna do uh, p default, right? So now when I type out p default and hit tab, it should expand that. So we're gonna save this. But the all the thing is, you have to. Uh, I think it by default it shows it here, but um, under in. Sublime in app library application support sublime text three or two or whatever then under packages then under user here's where you would save it and you would save it as let's say I do p default which doesn't matter the name but the thing that does matter is sublime snippet that's really important it has to end in dot sublime snippet and then basically I would just save it and now when I come back here P default tab and there I go so it's really cool there's actually a lot of other things you can do um, you can set the scope so it only works and while you're in certain um, code code uh, so right now I'm in plain text it'll work in any of these but let's say I want to code just to work when I'm working in a PHP document and not in anything else I can set that as well and there's other things if you want to look in deeper but that's just how I use it and it's pretty simple and straightforward. So I hope you guys enjoyed.